Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to be teaching you all about crossplay, how to disable it, and why it causes so many problems on dedicated servers. But first, let's be clear exactly what crossplay is. Essentially, crossplay is a way for PC players of Valheim to play with Xbox players of Valheim. The idea of crossplay is that enabling crossplay allows PC players to play with Xbox players. And this sounds great in theory. The problem, though, is this comes at a huge trade. Your server is going to be plagued with disconnection issues if you have people on PC and people on Xbox playing. The Xbox players are probably going to be okay, but crossplay makes PC players disconnect a lot. Basically, crossplay doesn't work effectively. That's the problem. You see, there's this horrific problem that happens. Right now, I'm on a copy of the Path to Ashlands No Map No Portal playthrough that's currently taking place. You can check out my post if you're interested in joining. But we had a big problem. Basically, people just get disconnected a lot, much more often than is normal. And so when that was happening, I was like, okay, I guess I should try disabling crossplay, because I've heard that it makes problems. And so I came down here to this setting on my dedicated server, and I went from it being set to active, and I set it to inactive, and then I turned the server back on. Lo and behold, not a single person could connect to the server anymore. It was totally bricked. Nobody could log in, even though the server appeared to be online. Then that's where you find stories like this, from over a year ago, describing the same problem. Once you have started a dedicated server with crossplay enabled, you cannot just turn it off. It won't work, because crossplay does something. And I don't know what it does, but it does something, and you need to do more than just turn it off. So now I'll show you how to actually turn it off on a dedicated server. There's lots of different options for servers. You could be using a different server host. I use Zap Hosting, but people like to use Gportal. There's all sorts of other server hosts. And you can also have a dedicated server on your own computer set up in your house and set up. There's a whole bunch of guides on how to do that. This issue is the same across all different methods. You cannot just do what the instructions say and disable crossplay. If you have been using crossplay and the server started with crossplay enabled, you have to download the world file, restart the server from scratch, wipe everything, reset it to factory settings, and then start it with crossplay disabled. That's the key. That's the step that will fix the problem. So here is exactly what you need to do. You need to turn off your server, then you need to disable crossplay through whatever means, download the world files so you have the FWL file and the database file, and then you need to reset your server host to factory settings. For me in Zap, what I have to do is browse the website and then look for this server reinstall option. Be careful though, because if you don't take the world file, your game world will get deleted when you do this reset. That's why you have to take the world file out and then reset everything, okay? After you've done that, you've wiped everything, then you restart the server from the beginning with crossplay disabled. That's the important part. Crossplay has to be disabled from the very beginning. And then all you have to do is take that same world file and upload it back and then start your server. And you will have successfully disabled crossplay without kicking everybody off permanently. Now, I know that this tutorial hasn't gone super into detail, and that's because this is a problem that's going to have different instructions depending on which server host you use, if you're using your own server, etc., etc., etc. But what you need to understand is that the crossplay setting itself causes a lot of problems with disconnection and it increases lag and issues with latency. It really shouldn't be used unless it's absolutely necessary. In my case, for example, there's like 10 to 15 players who are fairly active on this server. Not a single one of them is Xbox. So it was an easy decision to disable crossplay. 
The problem was, once I tried to disable it, I encountered that you can't just disable crossplay. You have to reset the server from the beginning and re-upload the world file that you've been using. And if you're interested in getting your own dedicated server, then you can get one from Zap Hosting using my link, JP Valheim. It's a great way to support my work and keep me making more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!